Hello fellow Tarnish, my name is Jake and welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today I'm going to explain how to finish Fia Deathbed Companions full questline. This will also unlock a secret hidden boss. I don't know why you'd click on this video if you were concerned about spoilers, but here's your only warning. To start Fia's questline, you'll need to complete Rani's questline until you get the Finger Slayer Blade. This has you enter Nokron, the Eternal City, after defeating Star Scourge Radon, and you'll find a room underneath a giant statue of a giant finger reader. To get here, right across this giant bridge and take a left at the Singing Lady to rest at the Sight of Grace. You'll make your way through the under part of the city until you come across a long walkway with a giant statue toward the end. Fight your way through until you reach a chest underneath the statue. This is where you'll receive the Finger Slayer Blade. Once you have this blade, it's time to find the Curse Mark of Death. Head back to Rani's Rise and talk to her until she gives you an inverted statue. Go into the Carrying Study Hall, located here on your map, and place the Carrying Inverted Statue on the pedestal in the first room. You'll now need to work your way through the tower until you reach the Divine Tower. Here, you can find the Curse Mark of Death from the top of this tower. With this in hand, it's time to go back to Fia and keep the quest line going. Head on over to Fia in the round table hold and let her hold you one more time, because you've probably already gotten a lot of hugs from her at this point. You should be able to have a conversation option regarding a dagger. If it's not there, try talking to her about everything else first and it should appear. You'll now need to find the Weathered Dagger's owner. The good news is that they aren't very far away, as the owner, D is just sitting in the other room. Now, this quest line will spell the end of Mr. D, so make sure you've talked to him as much as you want before going over and handing him the dagger. Rest at the round hole side of Grace, and you should see that D has disappeared. Now, if you go past the blacksmith Hugh, you'll see that the door on the top floor at the back behind him is now open. Go into this room, and you will find Fia there, and you can talk to her. Exhausting her dialogue will have Fia go off on her own journey, and it means it's time for you to continue yours. Fia will now move to the deeper depths. This is an area you can get via the aqueduct in Nokron. To get here, head over to the Ancestral Woods side of Grace. From here, head northeast and up until you spot some jellyfish. You need to follow this path and drop down and you'll find the aqueduct facing cliffs site of Grace. This entire area is sort of a mini dungeon that ends with a fight against two massive gargoyles. Definitely not an easy fight beat them and you'll notice a small coffin at the back of the boss arena. You need to climb into this coffin and you'll find yourself in the deep root deaths near the Great Waterfall Crest site of Grace. You'll need to take a right and across the chasm using the roots. Once past the roots, you'll need to keep going towards the cliff edge and should spot the nameless Eternal City site of Grace. Rest at this and then continue into the city. When you're in the ruins, traverse up the rooftops and the roots to make your way to the Across the Roots site of Grace. From here, simply go inside the a large area and you'll fight Fia's champions. Again, not an easy fight toward the end. Once you've beaten this boss, you'll get a new side of grace and Fia should be near the back of the area near the teleport gate. If she isn't, rest at the side of grace or travel elsewhere and then come back. Go over to Fia and then given the choice, say you want to be held. From here, keep talking to Fia until you give her the curse mark of death, which you already got in your inventory because I told you to get that earlier, and you can thank me now. You will now need to go back to the side of Grace and rest, then talk to Fia again. Repeat this until you're unable to talk to her because she's decided to take a nap from giving out so many hugs to dead people. You'll be able to interact with Fia, and you can then enter the Deathbed's Dream. Doing so will lead you into a boss fight with the Lich Dragon Fortisax, a secret optional dragon boss. Once you've defeated the this boss, you'll be taken out of the dream where you will find D has killed Fia in her sleep. He gloats over her body, seemingly losing his mind, and you can do with him as you wish. This is just a side note. If you do choose to kill him, you'll receive his armor and his weapon. You can also grab Fia's armor set on her body. This will then complete Fia's quest line. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, leave a like and comment what you would want to see next. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.